My name is uh, Ramon Camillo, um, PCIe CXL Manager for Kendu, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, PCIe and chiplets. So chiplets, are also known as tiles, are new technology. It's not really new, but it's something that you know that uh, came about five to ten years ago when, uh, in, a, in, a, in an effort to to expand the scalability of a semiconductor in an SOC. So the chiplets are now gaining steam, steam because of the uh, Moore's law. It's, it's hitting uh, the limit due to equipment uh, limitation. So how do you how do you uh, implement the chiplet in a, in a package? So basically, instead of uh, one monolithic uh, traditional design where you're bound by the bottleneck of the bandwidth and the power, now you have that flexibility to either use one tile. So let's say, for instance, in a switch. You can have a by, by four tile, uh, one single tile, to come up with a by four switch or retimer. But if you want to release another product say, using the same tile, then you can just add another tile to make it a by eight, and or a by sixteen by utilizing four tiles. So uh, it can also be used for a heterogeneous application where you can have one SOC tile, one compute tile and one uh, IO tile as well as graphic style to come up with a heterogeneous design that, to support distinct and unique uh, use cases and also AI applications. AI applications in, in, in a way that you can add a neural processing unit in the SOC or an FPGA type uh, SOC, SOC in the, in, within the package. And these are all interconnected with high-speed high interconnect as well as a common package substrate. Currently, the unique challenge in chiplet, since it's a new technology that's being adopted by several companies, uh, notably the CPU companies are starting in this effort, as well as uh, the graphics uh, companies and, and some other components and, and peripherals. The challenge right now is there's no uh, standard on the interconnectivity of the uh, chiplet, and also how do you enhance and, and tame that power to ensure that you're beating the, the, the power envelope and also how do you cool it down, like thermal envelope that you need to apply into the package. So those are things that needs to be worked out uh, going forward. But with, with the uh, industry putting support on this uh, effort and also enabling the chiplet in general, it, it wouldn't be far or too, too long for us to see an enhance in a standard version of the interconnect, which a number of uh, market verticals will be able to, to utilize and take advantage of. So PCIe is used for uh, in a motherboard to connect the root port, which is the processor, to uh, different components uh, via the PCIe bus. Currently, we're at Gen 5, which is about uh, 32 gigatransfer per second. Going to Gen 6, that's going to double the speed to uh, 64 gigatransfer per second, and uh, with with PCIe being utilized uh, with the, for the next generation, it's 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 critical or uh, crucial that we support the data integrity. So to be able to support that in data integrity and signal integrity, and you need to have a component, uh, also a PCIe component, which is a switch or retimer, that we basically preserve the data and the clock to ensure that you know have any data loss or signal integrity. A compromise. Currently, PCIe is used in the motherboard technology, so to be to connect components like the root port or the processor to endpoint device like the SSD or NIC or uh, some sort of accelerator. So that's going to be uh, utilized going forward. PCIe is not only going to be used uh, on the board, but it's going to extend outside the board. So now you're able to connect uh, board to board uh, within the cert with the same rack. And that's uh, with chiplets uh, being able to push further out the, the PCIe technology that would benefit not only on the uh, other components used in the server, but also on how to enable that RAM from a, a data center standpoint. To learn more about PCIe technology and chiplets, visit our website, PCIsig.com.